everyone, it's Grace. I uh, thought I would do a collective haul for you today. I've not done a haul ever on my YouTube channel um, and I thought that you might enjoy seeing the things I've bought. So I've got some things from um, Topshop, Flea Market, um, where else? Oh, and it's a few beauty bits and some bits that I've bought online. So this isn't all stuff that I've bought like in the past week, it's all stuff I've bought in the past month or so, um, and I have spent a bit too much money, so yeah, really shouldn't have spent all this money on this stuff, but sometimes a girl has just got to splurge, so yeah, let's get on with it. Um, so sorry if my head keeps bobbing down, all my stuff is on the floor, so yeah, I'm still here. What am I doing? Right. Uh, we'll start off with flea market stuff. Um, the first thing that I got was this cute little lightweight jacket. And I think this was like one euro, two euros, so it was really, really cheap and the pattern's really, really cute. And it's just nice to have something lightweight that you can just throw on over whatever you're wearing, you know, when it's warm but a bit cold, a bit chilly but I don't know if I'll be getting much more wear out of that because it seems to be freezing at the minute. So that was that anyway. Um, another thing that I got was this plaid shirt. I think this was like a euro, maybe less. Uh, we bought quite a few, me and Lucy. Um, so I can't really remember but it was cheap anyway and it's really like completely worn in, so it's super super soft and I've worn this so much already, it's just so cosy to wear and great alternative to wearing a jumper and it's just so handy. I mean if you don't want to wear it, throw it on round your waist and it still looks cute. So that was really good and the final thing I'm going to show you from the flea markets are... Dun dun dun! These incredible boots. Um, these are like the most ugly, most 90s boots you could find ever. <laughs> and um, I think they may be, what size are they? A 39, so what's that, a 6? So I wear like a 4 or a 5, so a little bit too big, but I think these were like 50 centimes, so I mean, I just, I had to buy them because who wouldn't buy these really? So I'm so in love with these, I've yet to wear them, um, but yeah, really, really love these. Probably one of my favourite things that I bought on that holiday, so loving those. Um, I did get quite a few other bits, but I don't know where everything is, so, because uh, this was quite a while ago and things just get worn or put in the wash, so... Those are the things I can remember that I bought. Um, another thing, what should we move on to? Let's do some more shoes. Now these are my bargain pair of shoes. These are from Zara and they are in the sale. They were meant to be £40 but they had a tag on that said £12.99 so I was umming and ahhing because these aren't really my style. But I love how Mary Kate and Ashley style these kind of shoes. Um, so I wanted to buy some just to wear, you know, casual but a little bit more dressy. And I do enjoy wearing heels in the day. So I bought these and when I got to the till they were actually $7.99. So crazy. Um, but yeah, they're really, really nice. Look really nice on. And they've got like an ankle strap here. And I like that because it's quite a thick one and that's what I like doesn't look too cheap and yeah little crossover straps on the front and they look really really cute with some jeans so they, they were a bargain um, next thing is these boyfriend jeans I got from a website called Radical Yard and these are really really cute I've worn these so much already um, and they, I can't remember how much they were, but they were in the sale. I know they were meant to be over £50, and I got them for like 20 or something. 
um, and the website is Radical Yard and they're a really really great website. I actually contacted them before I bought because I wasn't really sure what size to get and um, they were really really helpful and yeah love these they're like a low slung so they sit on your hips and they've got all these rips and tears and shredding all up them and then they also have like a zip here which is a really cute detail which I didn't actually notice when I bought them but I really like it anyway and yeah I just wear these cuffed up because I have short short legs and they look cute cuffed anyway so that was that um, and we will move on to things I bought in Topshop um, Topshop's a weird one for me because a lot of the time there's not really anything I want but it seems there's been a lot of things I've wanted from there recently so we'll start with some jewellery um, okay, this was a little cute choker set, and it came with these three different ones. Can't remember how much it was, but um, this is just like the classic plastic 90s one. I've not worn that, but um, I really like these ones. This is a cute little pendant, and it's on like this turquoise string cord, and this is a little Hamza one. So I thought they were cute, and I've worn them quite a few times, and they look really cute to wear together. Um, the next thing I bought, which seemed like a really good idea at the time, but in hindsight it really wasn't because I've not worn it at all, but still really really cute, it's this belly chain, and that is a Hamza one as well. And I thought I would wear this on holiday, but I just haven't, I mean I don't really get my belly out, so... I don't really know why I bought this, but it's still really really cute and I will wear it at some point, maybe next year when it's a bit warmer now, <laughs> but I love that, um, can't remember how much that was either, but I think they're still in store, so if you like that and get your belly out then go buy one. <laughs> and the last bit of jewellery that I bought was these cute little earrings, these were five pounds and I love wearing hoops, I used to wear hoops every single day, like huge gold tacky heart ones, like really chavvy, I used to love wearing those, um, and then I kind of just stopped wearing earrings altogether but I've got back into them again, so these are really good buy, they're really easy, you can just throw them in, you can sleep in them, they don't like stick in your neck or anything, so really happy with those, um, just great to wear, you know, for every day. And <clears throat> I also got these sunglasses. I'm obsessed with round shaped sunglasses. I don't know particularly if they suit me, but I just love them anyway. I have so many pairs. But I got these on, so I thought they were cute. Um, they've got like a gold frame and then they a tint from like pink to yellowy orange. I don't know if you can see, but yeah, they're really really good, but the only thing I would say is when I was on holiday they didn't like stop me squinting, the sun was still in my eyes, <laughs> so they don't really work as sunglasses but you still look really fucking cool wearing them, so I just can't remember how much these were, all sunglasses are like what 15 pounds or something in Topshop. So they were standard Topshop sunglass price. So that was all like the jewellery and accessories and stuff that I got. Um, and then the other day, I shouldn't really buy, buy this stuff, but I just got this really cute grey mall kind of, it's like a, a thick jersey t-shirt and it's got these extra long sleeves, which I think are really really flattering um, looks really modern like puts a modern twist on it and it's got this zipper in the back too and this was 18 pounds which normally I don't spend money on like this much money on basic things but in the winter I tend to wear a lot of basic things because I don't know what I'm doing with winter dressing and most of the things I want to buy in winter are like jackets and things that keep you warm and they tend to be more expensive so yeah 
I don't really know what my point was, but I really love this, it's really good. Um, another thing that I got from Topshop is just this plain black tea, and this was £12, I think, was it £12? Yeah. And I bought this just to wear, to laze around in, and I know that sounds really stupid because you can buy cheap ones, but it's really soft material, but I actually really love this, just with a pair of jeans and some really nice jewellery. Um, yeah, so nothing exciting, but there we go. Um, another thing that I've been absolutely loving, um, which I just think is an absolute bargain, is this dress. I bought this before we went on holiday, and it's just a plain uh, white jersey dress. It's like a mini dress, um, but it's got all these tiers to it, and it's a really nice fit, and it just it suits me really well, I think. I don't really wear dresses because I'm not a dress person, but I love this dress, and it was £18, and I think that's such a good price. Um, I think these have actually gone into the sale now, so I was thinking of getting <laughs> stocking up on a few while they were cheap, but I would definitely get some of these. Um, it, they're just so comfy to wear, so easy to wear, and they look really good. Um, this is a bikini that I bought um, before we went on holiday. These are the bottoms, and... This is the top. It is a halter neck top. It's kind of hard to show, but it, it goes like frilly. And because I have small boobs, this is really, really nice. It looks really, really flattering. And it just makes you a bit less self-conscious about your boob area if you have small boobs like me, um, because the frill kind of covers it. But, I mean, I'm not really someone who's bothered about having small boobs at all, but this is really, really nice. The only thing is, I bought this online and it looked like it was a nice coral colour, but when it came, it's this bright neon orange, and I hate anything neon. The only neon I can get my head around, really, is yellow neon, but orange neon? No. So I was really disappointed that the colour looked completely different, but when I tried it on, this actually made me look really, really tanned and really healthy. So if you're pale, then go for something neon, like if you're shopping for a bikini and you want to look browner than you are, because um, my friend Lucy was like, you look really, really brown wearing that. And I felt like 10 times browner, so it was really weird, but yeah. So, I can't remember how much this was, but it's a really cute little set, and um, it's really, really flattering. It's just, in my opinion, I'm not too keen on the colour, but I think they may do them in some other colours, so you could check that out. Okay, so the last item of clothing from Topshop are these pyjama shorts that I got. Um, I have lots of Primark shorts that I was wearing in bed, but... They're really, really crappy, and I've had them for years, so I thought it is time to invest in a new pair. So I got these ones, I think these were like £12 or something. Um, they're like a towel-y, toweled material, and they're really, really comfy, and um, yeah, they're good. My bum doesn't hang out too much in them, like with my Primark ones, and yeah, so a bit of a boring buy, but one of those ones that you just need to do. So that was that and the final thing that I got from Topshop is this really 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 cute little makeup bag and I love it, it's got pom-poms all over it and this was in sale, I think it was £5 down from 12 or something and yeah it's really really good. Um, it's like this inside, it's got a little pocket, and yeah, I love it, I've used it quite a lot already. Um, yeah, so that's that, and 
the last few bits I've got to show you are some beauty products and we will start with if I can find it um, this foundation by Chanel it is the Vita Lumia Aqua and I got it in number 20 which is beige um, well, I think this is the second lightest one because I have really really pale skin but I've got a bit of a tan at the minute from being away over summer um, this is a really really good foundation um, Lucy recommended the Vita Lumia range to me I think she's got like the normal one which is a bit more heavy coverage but I really like wearing something that is quite lightweight and feels like my skin and looks like my skin I don't like to look like I'm wearing too much of a base um, so I've been using a lot of BB creams and things like that but I actually got a sample of this and I tried it out for about a week before I went and purchased the full size and really really happy with it, it it's a really weird formulation it feels like water when you're putting it on your face um, I'm actually wearing it now and I've been putting it on with my fingers and then just using my Real Technique brush to just blend it out and just make sure it's all even. Um, but yeah, I really love this. I mean, I do, I, I have nothing against drugstore foundations at all, I use them a lot. Um, but I think that this definitely gives me a bit more of a luminosity and it doesn't make my skin look as dull as I find it does with other foundations that are a bit cheaper. Um, so yeah, really really love this and it's a water based as well so I guess that feels, that's why it feels like water when you put it on but really really love it and it's quite expensive but I think it's definitely worth it because a little goes a long way and um, I mean you don't really need much at all to get a good coverage with this. So that was that. Um, and the next two things are both from Dr. Hauschka and um, the first thing that I bought was this normalizing day oil um, I bought this because I have really oily skin um, particularly in my t-zone so I'd read a lot of reviews online saying that this was really really good and um, decided to try it out for myself and been using it for I don't know about a week or so I'm not sure but it's been really really good it goes on really well underneath makeup and um, Dr. Hashka say you know just apply this once in the morning you shouldn't apply it at night and I've been following that regime and it seems to be working for my skin um, I've noticed that my skin has definitely been a lot less oilier um, I used to wear so much powder and be so worried about getting greasy and just looking shiny but since using this um, I've not had to use powder and with the new foundation it gives a, ni a nice dewy look but it doesn't go to that horrible shiny stage I mean I've had this on a couple of hours now and it's just like a nice dew and that's what I like so definitely would recommend this um, it seems like it's quite expensive but you get this bottle which is pretty huge and you only need like two drops of this for your whole face each day and as you're not using it at night as well um, it's obviously going to last a lot longer than your normal moisturising product and the last thing also from Dr. Hauschka is this clarifying toner which should be used in conjunction with that this is for oily skin as well and I only got this a few days ago but so far I'm loving it it's got a really nice fresh scent to it and you spray it on and then you pat it into the skin like this and you can feel it working on your skin and I just think this is really good as well a lot of times I know brands say, you know, use this with our other product or whatever um, and I never buy into that but the oil definitely works so much better when you have this as well um, so I will be looking to get the cleansing lotion I think 
um, at some point as well because I really want to get into a good skincare regime and Dr. Hashka is, you know, it's all natural, it's organic stuff, I think. <laughs> it's very, very good, anyway. So I would definitely recommend this. Um, it's not cheap, it's not, you know, your budget beauty stuff, you're not going to find it, you know, for under a tenner, but <clears throat> it's a really, really good brand and I really recommend it. And sorry if you can see the cat in the background. So that's everything now and I really hope you enjoyed watching this haul. I definitely enjoyed spending all that money, um, even though I shouldn't have. But yeah, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed watching and I'll get making some more in the future. Uh, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Okay, thank you, bye!